Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In the previous video, we have seen how we can register as admin in our React Native application. And then if that admin tries to log in in our application, he will be navigated to admin home screen. And if user tries to log in in our application, he will be navigated to user home page. So first, let me do the login. So I will go to my login page. And here, these are my admin credentials. And when I click on login, you can see I have got the pop-up and I have been navigated to admin homepage. This is my admin homepage where currently I am showing the admin details. Now in this video, what I will do, first I will modify the UI of this homepage to make it look better. And after that, I will fetch all the registered users in our application and will show it inside admin homepage. So admin will have the overview of how many users are registered and what are the users details. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, let's modify the UI of this admin home page. So here I want to show the header at the top. For that, I will go to my app.jsx. And here you can see currently I have added our admin component inside this login navigator. So this is not a good approach. So to solve this, what I will do, I will create a new stack navigator here, name as admin stack. In this stack navigator, all of the our admin pages will be listed here. After that, I will import this const stack, create stack navigator. If you want to learn all of these things, then you can go and watch my previous videos. I will write return here. Inside this, I will write stack.navigator. This is the pen component and inside this, we can register all of our screens. So here I will pass the name of my screen, which is admin screen. And here I will pass the component, which is also admin screen. Now I will add another screen here, which will be login. So I will write here login and why login. So here you can see this is my admin home page and from here when I click on log out I have to navigate back to the login page. So that's why I have to add login here but here you can notice that I will not pass here component as login I will pass our whole login nav. Why it is? It is because when we press on log out we want our code to go to this navigator so that from login we can register these screens also. Otherwise if we pass only login here then it will navigate to only login screen but from there he will not be able to navigate to register screen. So by passing the whole login nav will solve the issue. Now I will go to the top to copy the header. This is the header I have to show. So I will copy this. I will come below. This is my admin navigator. I will come here and I will write options and inside options I will paste that. Okay, I will have to remove this and here I can write options. And inside this, I can set header shown as false. Okay, done. Now I will save this. Then again, I will go up and here you can see that this is my login navigator and here I am navigating to this admin screen. So instead of this admin screen, I will pass whole admin stack. Okay, now I will save this. Again, I will go down. And here instead of this admin screen, I will pass our whole admin stack navigator. So now whenever this condition is satisfied, we will be navigated to this admin stack. Okay, my header is not coming. It is because here I have set header shown to false. So let me set it to true. I will save this. And here you can see I have got this admin screen. But you can see I am getting this back button. I don't want this. For that I will come here and I will write header back visible to false. I will save this. And you can see it is gone. Now I will go to my admin screen page. This is my admin home screen and here you can see I have created this user state. Inside this user state, I am taking the user's data like the logged in user data and storing it inside this user data state. And here I have written the function of the sign out and here I am just showing the user's data in this bad UI. So for now, I will just remove all of these things. Let me just add UI quickly. Okay, you can see here I have added these two things. One is text which is showing the name and the other text will show our user type and these are the CSS which I have added. So now instead of this name, I will pass here user data dot name. Same thing here, I will pass user data dot user type. I will save this and you can see I am getting the user's details. So it is totally looking good. Now let me try to add the card which will show the user's data. And you can see here, my card is visible. So inside this card, I will fetch all the user's details and we will show inside these cards. So here currently I am showing the logged in user data, but later on I will change this. And these are the CSS which I have added. You can get the code from the GitHub, link will be in description. Okay, so our card is ready. And in this card here, this is the name, this is the email, this is the user type 
and here we will get the image now only thing remaining is a logout button so let's add that and it is done you can see here that i have added button outside this view container it is because i want that button to be with 100 and at the last of our page so it is totally looking good now our ui part is done let's go to the backend and create the api to fetch all the registered users in our react native application this is my backend code in this i have created api for register login register as admin getting the users detail updating the users detail so if you want to learn that then you can go and watch my previous videos so now i will come here and let's create one new api which will be app.get because we want to get all the users detail so the method will be get and the api name will be get all user here i will write async and we will accept request and response after this here i will first write try and catch block and inside try and catch block i will create a variable name as data and here what i will do i will write here await because getting all the users data might take time so this await will help us to wait for that then i will access my schema this is my schema user dot find find is a method which will help us to find all the users and inside find if we keep it as blank it will fetch all the users details but if i pass here email is equal to and give some email it will find a particular user so because i want all the users details i am keeping it blank now i will come here and i will send the response which will be response.send status is okay and in data i will share this data okay done and after this if we face the error i will send the error in response like this okay i think it is done i will save this now i will again go to front end let's go up here i will create one new state which will be all user data and set all user data after that i will create one new function name as get all data in this i will call axios dot get because our method name is get after that i will pass this url inside this url you can notice that i have passed my ip address because if we want to send our api request to mobile or android device we have to use ip localhost will not work and here instead of this user data i will pass my api name which is get all user okay done after this i will handle the promise so in this i will write here response and if i get the response i will just console.log all the response dot data because we are getting our data inside the data after consoling i will save this then inside use effect after get data i will call get all data i will save this now let me open the console this is my console i will open my application i will do the logout then i will try to do login and in the console you can see i am getting all the users data and this data is inside this data variable so now i will come to my application and here after consoling what i will do i will write here set all user data and it will be set to response dot data dot data so in this all of the users data will be stored now i will save this now to show all the data one by one we will take help of a component known as flat list so i will come here and import flat list then i will go below and after we are showing the admin details i will write here flat list inside flat list the first important part is data so i will write here data and we are storing our data inside the state known as all user data after that we have to pass the key extractor why do we pass key extractor like we will show all the data one by one so each data should have a unique combination and that unique combination should be mentioned here so here i will write item inside this item all the data one by one will come here like in the first iteration first user details will come inside this in the second iteration second user detail will come inside this then we will access from this item dot id this id we are getting from backend okay after that i will write here render item render item will contain the ui to which our data will be shown so in our case this is the ui so i will copy this remove from here then i will go up and let's create a component for this ui which will be user card okay done and here you can see i have used this type of braces if you use curly braces you have to write this code inside return otherwise it will not work after this i will come here and i will write item again in this item all our data will contain one by one and here we can pass our user data and here we can call our component which is user card it should be like this then inside this user card i will pass data and this data will contain all the users detail that is this item then i will go to our user card and let's accept that data 
So I will accept the data. After this, I will have to extract name, email and user type from this. So instead of this user data, I will pass here data dot name, data dot email and data dot user type. I will save this. Let's open the application and you can see here I am getting the user's details inside this card. Like you can see some user don't have the user type. That's why we are not getting. Okay, this user doesn't have anything. So we are getting everything blank and you can see here we are getting user type and all. Now let's try to add the image for image. What I will do, I will go to update profile and here you can see I have written this condition. So I will copy this. I will come here. I will paste that condition inside this URI. Okay, like this and here I will pass instead of just image, I will pass data dot image. So this condition states that if my data dot image is null or empty, then we will show this image. Otherwise we will show our data dot image. So I will save this. And you can see we are getting this beautiful profile icon and let's check if some user have profile photo or not. I think one user have. So you can see this user have the profile photo and we are getting that. Now if I scroll down, you can see here, this is the user name, this is a user email and this is a user type and here user profile photo will come. So that's it for the video. This is how you can fetch the detail from MongoDB and show it into your React Native application inside the admin home screen. Now in the next video what I will do, I will add a delete icon here and on press of that delete icon, our user will be deleted from our React Native application. That means he will not be able to do login in our application. So stay tuned for that and do let me know in comments how much do you like this video. Thank you for watching the video.